Welcome, welcome, welcome to your aunties could never. We're your favorite aunties on the internet. I'm Auntie AK, all things auntie. I think that's a lie. Um, <laughs> and I'm here with... <laughs> I'm Farah, the funniest resident Caribbean queen. I'm Nana, AKA the Black Fairy, AKA Dark and Lovely. And I'm all things sugar and shade, Sade. Happy Hi. birthday! <laughs> Yes. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it is Auntie Sade's birthday. Happy, happy birthday, girl. Thank you. I yeah, really do need a proper gun. We need, we need, we need a proper gun. We need it. We need it. We need it. Um, and a crash. <laughs> How are you feeling, birthday girl? I'm feeling good, you know. I Looking really good. Um, so, yeah. Looking good. Thank you. You know, I had to do a little... Birthday hair, <laughs> birthday good. nails, birthday lashes, you know. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. And like everyone sent me so such lovely messages and it's been yes. like really nice and I feel very loved. So <gasps> you are very loved, good. you are blessed. Thank Big you. up to the family for getting involved as well and sending you lots of messages. Yes. yes. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Love <laughs> yeah, you. very, very cute. So we're here and the Ghanaian aunties are back. We're back from our travels. Bye. <laughs> back. Yes. I brought some Ghanaian brandy as well to toast the occasion. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I brought myself. <laughs> and no sunshine. I'm very, very damn cold. But okay, still our fourth anniversary. We're still here four years in. Brap, 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 brap. Brap, brap. Um, a quick thank you to you guys for holding it down. You yes. did amazingly. We're so proud of you and thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, did you think that we would do anything less? I mean, take the thank I'm you. I'm slightly offended that asking <laughs> like, the question. Like, you know. That was a thank you. Well, it was a thank you like it was an offensive question. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coming up in today's show, <laughs> we have, as usual, enemy of progress. Welcome to the family. And we'll be solving your juicy, problematic dilemmas in Auntie's Know Best. But before that, you know what we need to do? Everybody needs to book the like button. 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 Book the like button, guys. please. Let's do it. What was that? Okay, and make sure that you book the like button and comment on this video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to, to understand what's happening. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, rate the pod. We only accept five stars. Please. Please. Thank you. And if you're listening on Spotify, they take comments. We like comments. We'll read your comments if you add comments. So please comment. We've been and getting comments, though. We've been getting comments, mm. though. All right. Good. Thank you very much. We need to read some out. At some point. At some point. But not today. Okay, guys, a lot's been happening this week. <laughs> a lot. Monday, there's a solar eclipse. JT and Young Miami are beefing. Meg and Glorilla launch a booty clapping challenge. Terence Howard, in a very fine wig, alleges that he's <laughs> owed over $120 million for his work on Empire. Mm -hmm. Zara Salim, um, the black, a UK Black Lives Matter protester, has been ordered to pay back just one pound out of the £70,000 she stole because she's broke. Jonathan Majors has been put on probation and has to complete a 52-day domestic violence intervention program. And Missy Elliott announces her first ever headline tour with Buster Rhymes, Sierra and Timberland. Lovely. It's a lot of stuff. Now, this is so much stuff. So much stuff is happening that we can't get through to it all right now. So, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we have a new announcement. We have some. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hard for the vision mix. <laughs> no, but that's why I liked it. Is that... <laughs> we have got something special for you. Something new and exciting. Bonus content. Mm -hmm. More time with your favourite aunties in our new show called extra aunties because your aunties are extra because we're extra <laughs> and we're going to give you extra extra aunties so yes you'll get more time more special extra time with your favorite aunties where we'll get deeper and deeper into the news and nonsense of the past week now there's a caveat to watch this special extra content you might just need to sign up to our new membership scheme which is um on youtube youtube mm -hmm. membership and guess what it only costs <clears throat> 199 a month. A month. One ninety nine. 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 You can't even get a piece of chicken for one ninety nine. The pound shop's not even one ninety nine. The pound, pound shop ain't one ninety nine. Nah. It's not even one pound. You can't so do nothing for one bargain. Nine, it's you know. a freaking bargain, mate. That is basically you're helping fifty p a show. Can you imagine? Fifty p a show. 
<laughs> that is a contribute to the coffers for your old aunties. <laughs> help us help you. Help us help you. <laughs> so please, guys, sign up to a YouTube membership, one ninety nine a month, and you'll get aunties. Extra. No, you no won't. Extra, you'll get extra oh, aunties. Extra aunties. <laughs> I did so well. I did so well. I'm back. I'm back. All right, folks. That was very red light district. <laughs> well, we, you know, we used to do aunties after dark. That's come, that'll be back too. All right, guys. So let's get into enemy of progress. Oh, Who God. is holding us back, taking us back to the dark ages? Auntie Nana, take it away. Oh, listen. So first one that I'm bringing to you guys is <laughs> Alex Phillips. She's on Talk TV. She's a presenter and she has gone about, there's a clip floating about at this moment in time. And she says she feels unsafe in London due to immigrants being sexual deviants. Mm. Um, she's <laughs> wild. Uh, she says she's been living in London for 10 years and she's always being leered at. And men keep on saying tss, 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 <laughs> to her as she walks around the London streets. She says she's been followed and it makes her feel like she is in a Moroccan souk. Those wow. are, that's verbatim what she said. She also says that women's safety is being mortgaged at the altar of mass immigration and faux political correctness. Now, there's lots of folks being like, you know what? I stand by what she's saying. There's a real problem out there with the, with the immigrants these, out there. They're sexual deviants. These foreigners. Basically. All these foreigners yes. coming around here. <laughs> Touching our women. Touching, leering at our women. <laughs> now, it's like, how, how can she, as a white woman who lives in this country, really be saying that all of the sexual deviants seem to be brown and black folk people who are not, don't seemingly look like they were born here when the stats show that most sexual crimes are committed by white men in this country? I don't know how this isn't racist. And she says... She doth protest to not be racist. I'm not a racist. I've got black friends and I've lived in Africa. Also, she said that too. <laughs> wow. I put her forward as enemy of progress. I mean, what yeah. say ye? A accepted. <laughs> yes. Yeah, ye, 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 ye. Yes, yes, yes. Sustained. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely not overruled. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm, this wow. chick, right? She said visibly... Um, people that are visibly not from here, yeah. visibly from her, not here. This chick has also been known to say things like, um, "London doesn't look like Britain anymore. Mm. It doesn't look like it doesn't represent Britain anymore." I don't know about you, but it really represents Britain, considering that Britain colonized, you know, the majority of the globe, mm -hmm. and then took all the riches from the majority of the globe, mm -hmm. and have vastly benefited from the majority of the globe. Mm -hmm. It looks like Britain, doesn't it? I don't know what her problem is. And didn't you? live in other countries so weren't you visibly not from those countries <laughs> but that was okay basically all right then i'd love to know her dating history to see if she leered at people that weren't visibly white either like i don't like her i don't i mean it's an obvious enemy of progress it's stirring up the um the insecure pot because elections are coming and in america they're talking about immigrants a lot we always copy what america's doing so all the politicians, the right wing politicians get together and start thinking, oh, hunker down in their cabal, thinking about how they can make us working class people, white people, I guess, scared and intimidated yeah. and start voting drastically to the right. Because they also there's the fear that conservatives are going to lose whenever the next election happens. So they're really trying to stoke the flames of insecurity. This woman is the same woman that kind of worked with um, Cambridge and Analytica, that dodgy company that scraped data from Facebook for the presidential elections in 2016. And she was then doing colonizer behavior, interfering in the Kenyan, um, ele uh, oh. um, what do you call it, elections. Sometimes, you know, some controversy and she was involved in that. Yeah. So why are you getting in the mix and coming to talk nonsense when you were out in Africa doing your nonsense as well? Like, shut up. All it is is just shut up, please, chick. I have nothing else to say on her. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not a fan, obviously. I think... I don't. Th I don't believe her. I don't think anyone's calling her. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think. I think she's mistaken. They may have been calling someone next to her. Yeah. I don't think it's her. That part. She's not, that not being leered at. No. They're not leered. They might be saying I you got something so. on your shoe. You, might you know be, what I mean? Yeah. Like I just think she's a weirdo, and I think she's trying to stoke racial tension, and it's just unnecessary. She needs to go. Like she shouldn't have a platform. If she keeps this up, especially like that Moroccan comment is blatantly racist. It isn't it? Yeah, it's it bad. really it's, is. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, she needs the, to go. The other thing to bear in mind is what she's saying is that she doesn't feel safe with people that are not visibly from here, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of police officers that are visibly from here who are doing some real fuckery, committing murders and rape mm. and all mm-hmm. these things, and they're visibly from here. Do you feel safe with them? I, I mean, like, and also that's what she's the, saying. No, like, yeah. yeah, it's just like I mean. Some people say, like, you know, look, kids ain't safe in the church. Do you know what I mean? And those priests are visibly from here. Mm. Yeah. Like football hooligans typically are visibly from here. Yeah. And, but do you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? And what about Australian, Ukrainian, Russian, other immigrants? So they're not from here and possibly not visibly. So how do you determine, do you know, I don't know. Because the only way you can determine if someone's from here is visibly. If it's That's it. Because she's... <laughs> Basically. That's yeah. it. She's got education of a yeah. five-year-old. Yes. Basically. She should... Uh, she's That's a, the thing, isn't it? Because to say visibly from here, we're all British-born. Yeah. So we are What's all from visibly? here and we wouldn't be who she was talking about. Yeah. Mm. On a, going over the two things of like women's safety... And immigration, I think, is disgusting because women, we do, there is a problem in this country yeah. with women's safety. That's factual. But that would be men. It's not like a black men, brown men. Yeah. It's not that. It's a man issue. Mm-hmm. But to put it on immigrants is disgusting because this is a real issue. That's what they've been doing, though. The way the immigrants are going to come and rape the women and take over. And that's just a le- oh, low that hanging like fruit. Something that Britain has done. Exactly. <laughs> to, but to be like white men are virtuous and we should be feeling safe around them is actually at, sacrilege. It's disgusting. <laughs> Look at the world we live in today, honestly. <laughs> it is ridiculous. And she, yeah. she admires Nigel Farage and Theresa May. Those are her heroes. Nana Requeer is their brethren, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> it's her one black friend. Yeah. She, that she gives she, her legitimacy. Yeah. What she what? <laughs> did she go to Ghana with Nana? That's probably did. right. Because like, she said, Nana go no. to Ghana. You see that she said, I speak a bit of tree. I bet Nana freaking taught her a bit of fucking yeah. tree. Nana Requeer did it. I think her, so. that's, we her, blame that's, her. Her, that's her friend. I'd like to <laughs> no, categorically. No, when she says Nana Queer, that's what she thinks. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to categorically, I didn't get a chance to deny and renounce that witch. She's got my name. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. Thank you. Rename yourself immediately. Oh, in, immediately. In the comments, each time I was seeing somebody writing Nana, I was getting angry. <laughs> yeah. Like thinking they're talking about me and it's like, no, they're talking about Nana. That girl. Korea. Even but, when yeah. you said it, yeah. I was like, I hate that she has your name. Oh. <laughs> I hate it. It's uh, renouncing <laughs> you. Surely she should change it. Let's yeah. move on. <laughs> yeah. Another person who's an enemy of progress is, ah, oh, I says multiple people, Russell Simmons and Kimura and... Vittorio Asaf. Now, guys, you probably have heard that there's been a short-lived, inappropriate relationship that's been on the internet. Aoki Lee Simmons, who is 21, was spotted in St. Bart's kissing 65-year-old restaurateur Vittorio Asaf. Gross. Um, yeah, it's super nasty, super horrible, and, you know, protect the babies at all costs. Another pr- treacherous, lecherous man um, picking a young chick to look good on his arm, I guess. But the bigger story is why is Aoki Lee Simmons? How does she get in contact with this guy? How do they get together? And where are her parents? Russell Simmons <laughs> hiding away in Bali, yeah. and Kimura, who you know, you, you know, I've, I've not really had a problem with Kimura, but at this point here, your daughter's kind of off the ropes, not not looking like she's well, or what's going on. I want to take these two parents to challenge and have a discussion about why these. What's going on in their household and what's happening and why they're enemies of progress? What are your thoughts? Well, Victoria, he's the real enemy. Let's be real. Mm. Because he has, he has encouraged this. Do you know Mm. what I mean? And he is the adult in the situation. He's got 65 good years (laughs) of life, (laughs) of knowledge, of wealth. Do you know what I mean? You know, I mean, coming what was to it, the 500 table. Million. He's, he's worth 500, 500 million. million. Mm. He's, he, he's, it's just disgusting that this is, he, people still think that these kind of relationships are okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's 21. You have nothing in common with this 21 year old. You really don't. And it's just like, you should know better. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, she's posing for pictures yeah. for him. Do you know what I mean? They're talking about getting a crate together. It was just like, yeah. this is creepy and weird. And she was talking to him we can see on her snaps or whatever like that's her dad yeah do you want a crepe like should we get a crepe can we get a crepe we're not getting a crepe no like it was all very like adult child Mm -hmm. this is weird 
And he needs to date women in a more appropriate age group, as far as I'm concerned. And also as a grown man who, she, in that live, because she went live, that's what you're talking about with him. Uh, she seemed, she, that's where her immaturity showed so much. As you're saying, it was like a daddy daughter moment. Um, for someone who, who doesn't seem quite stable, why would a man also want to be around a girl like that? I would literally more walk her back home, like go back to your parents mm. and chill out and calm down. And it's just, you know, Aoki's already been on record. Or I think she was caught on social media saying, speaking to her dad, speaking to Russell saying, you know, I'm going to go and get a sugar daddy if you don't give me money because I'm broke or something like that. So there's all this attention seeking that she's been doing as young people do. And then also Russell's an irresponsible parent who's got all these things going on and he's hiding out in Bali. Like, what are your thoughts on Russell's parenting or ab lack thereof? <laughs> I mean, Russell's questionable before he was even a parent. Yeah, you know, to have a 15-year-old girlfriend when you're f in your 30s is more than questionable, isn't it? Honestly. You know, yeah. he's got form. What's she seen? What has she, what, where are her examples? If that's her example, she might think it's normal. The guy, what's his name? V Vittorio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is obviously an enemy because... The only thing that you have in common with this child is that you're both human beings. <laughs> like, what are you actually talking about? I don't understand. And we all know what he wants from her. Mm -hmm. The Kimura thing, whether or not she's an enemy, I'm conflicted because, again, what does she have? Maybe she thinks that was normal. She's spoken about it and not in a way that's kind of like, I mean, when I'm talking about her relationship with Russell, she hasn't yeah. said, oh, that was really bad. We shouldn't, he, we, we shouldn't have been there. I was too young. I've never heard her say that. Mm. She's just been like, it's gone on record. Everyone knows that I was with him. No, she's alluded to that. I, she's I would alluded say Kimura is the firm enemy of progress in this mm. because she set a tone for her kids. Yeah. And they think this is okay. So even... Her, she put out like a little panda thing where it was like the mama panda picks up the, yeah, the little like, panda yeah. and is like, you know, go in the, and it's like, you know that you may have sent your daughter out to get some money because word on ooh. road is that their whole family is lacking in money at this moment in time. And the way how Aoki was acting, like going past Bulagari and all the things being like, oh, that's my favourite shop and oh, I love that. It's... It's like you're out here trying to pimp this man. So do you think that potentially Kimura was like, could there is a normalisation of having that older guy that's got money in that space Very and she's a model. So that do. kind of culture is normalised, whether mm -hmm. you agree with it or not. So do you think at one point Kimura was like, OK, baby. Go. You can go to St. Bart's and this... You, who knows what the setup was for her to be in St. Bart's with this man. I believe that Kimura... It's, there were some dodgy things that she may have been involved in. And I would not be surprised if this was OK with her and he and their union has her blessing. I uh, wouldn't be well, surprised. I what? don't think so. No, I really don't. I think she is. I think Kimura, unfortunately, she is kind of like a victim herself. Do you know what I mean? And like, there might be, it might be in a case where history is seeming to repeat itself, but I don't know whether she's in control of that. And I think that she has a lot going on at the moment because Russell is in Bali and we all know why. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like, she's dealing with that. She's got another daughter as well. She's got a son. Like, do you know what I mean? There's, there's lots of allegations going on in terms of their businesses as well, which she alluded mm -hmm. to. And actually she came out and said that she has been, um, funding mm -hmm. Russell's lifestyle. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? So the pressures of that as well. So I think she's got a lot on her plate. Now, she's got all of that, trying to raise these daughters in the public eye. And she's got a daughter who seemingly is a bit more attention seeking and her father is playing into it. That conversation you're talking about Terrible. where he's, you know, do you know what I mean? That's not conversation for the public to be seeing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I think like, I think she was, in that, even in that conversation where she was saying, oh, you know, do you know what I mean? I'm going to get a sugar daddy. Russell's asking her, is she a V? Yeah. Which seemingly aren't you means- v? Like, Aren't you still a V? Like, yeah, like saying you don't have like the qualities. Like yeah. do you know what I mean? Like it's ridiculous. And it's just like this disgusting, the dad, these dads and their children's virginity. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Like girl children, it's very weird. Give them very T.I. And I just think like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I think it's just that she's just like, right I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and I said I was gonna do this so I can do it and I can't do you know what I mean and maybe she's falling in with the wrong crowd maybe people around her exploiting her seeing that she's a pretty girl she's a model it's very easy to go down that escort route 
Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that's what this seems like. It doesn't seem like a legit relationship. No. It seems like Definitely. an arrangement, but it doesn't mean that her parents absolutely are condoning it and saying that, do you know what I mean? Or giving it their blessing. Because, you know, if that was the case, I don't think she would have dumped him so quickly. Mm -hmm. It was like she had to get rid of him immediately. <laughs> like, oh, you think she dumped him? I think, I think her, her team said this needs to end mm -hmm. now. Uh, I feel like I, I think it just, not, was... it just didn't work out. It just, I don't even think oh, it was. Really? Yeah, I just, no, no, no. no. no not, 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 to a, not to ending. be like a relationship that, that she, was to she work. Has I just jobs. think it was. She, like she, she done a live and she was saying that don't like, she was saying things like trigger warning, I guess, but like, don't call me anorexic because I lose work. Da, 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 this, that, mm, yeah, the other yeah. kind of thing. And this was while this was happening and it's just gone, you know, the story's gone viral. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then she, then the relationship's done because you're going to lose work. Yeah. The that, other thing that I think we're all forgetting is that these are people who are in different worlds. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say she don't live at home. Mm. You know, yeah. she's. It's not like she's a twenty-one-year-old girl that's been living at home. She's not been at home for a long time. It's not like Kamora's in her face every day. Yeah, and she knows where her kid is. That's something that we need to remember. But I'm, I'm more in agreement with you. I don't think Kamora necessarily is like pimping her out. I think, unfortunately. She's seen this and it's normalised for Aoki that, well, my dad's X amount of years older than my mum. What's the problem? This Not is even just extreme... the mum, his girlfriend now is yeah. like just 30. Well, this is what I'm saying. It's, it's... And that space, in that world, it I, is yeah. norm normal. I'm more blame Russell for everything. <laughs> <laughs> for not, yeah. you know, for, no, for everything, for everything. Because what are you chatting to a 15 year old for in the first place? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? And then, like you said, all the all the girlfriends that he's had since then have been younger. It's like he has a type and he's stuck to it decade after decade after decade. Yes, yes. Every girlfriend has been similar. But then similar. I mean, Kamora's not squeaky clean. Like her man is literally, he was trying to embezzle money from the Malaysian government to the tune of billions. And she was involved in that. I think literally. So, allegedly. Yes, allegedly. I think literally everyone needs, the parents need to get the house in order. Vittorio, go away with your bad self. Just <laughs> stay away. No, you've got nothing to do with these kids. Aoki needs help. Plus, it seems like she needs help. It might just, all she needs is her parents to bring her in home and give her some love, tender loving, tough love and parenting and just calm everything down. Come on, you've got five kids to look after. Oh, one of them's going rogue. Have a minute, take a pause. I don't think so. I, I actually disagree. I think she needs to stay the hell away from Russell. Like, I think, it, I don't think he, okay. he needs to be closer. Who, to him Ioki? At all. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, I hear you. I hear yeah, you. Yeah, Cut the, the I meant parenting because like, I think, I think you know yeah, what I mean? that's yeah. true. But I that's think true. there's a difference. Like, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, they can't have healing if he's still involved. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Fair. He's a tyrant. Fair. Like, look how he spoke mm. to them. Yeah. Yeah. To like, be honest, I mean? yeah, yeah. He still didn't denounce him. He did. Do you know what I mean? They were still, even after that, remember when... She showed yeah. mm -hmm. how he was. Yeah. Then afterwards, she did another thing saying like, but, but actually all okay now. Mm. And still none of them are accepting all of the charges against him. They yeah. still defend him to this. And that is Kimura as well. They have to. Well, they need to get the house in order, whatever that means. If that means Russell, stay away, whatever. Get your house in order. Auntie Farah, who are you? Who's your enemy of progress? So my enemy of progress this week is uh, Kai Sinat. Oh. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Go ahead, go ahead, go and ahead. And on any other day of the week, I probably would have agreed with you. Yeah. But on this day of the week, I don't agree with you. <laughs> so Kai Sinat has been on a world trip. He's been going here, there and everywhere. He went to Ghana. He went to Nigeria. Most recently, he's gone to Jamaica. And he was at uh, the Jamaican Carnival. Oh, good, you might think. Amazing, <laughs> wonderful, right? Now, the reason why he's my enemy is because of his conduct while he was in Jamaica. So he basically was doing cosplay and performing in a way which is kind of like mocking the Jamaican culture. So he was seen with um, Rastafarian fake hats, yeah. with the dreads and all of that stuff. He was seen with multiple of his friends talking in a very fake uh, stereotypical accent. He was, uh, every other sentence was Bumba Clark, Ross Clark yeah, and all no, of that stuff. Yeah. That's what he was doing. Um, you know, so he was at Carnival enjoying himself. Now I don't, I don't actually dislike his experience at Carnival because the, it's, I, it's not to say that I like that when people are just daggering and things like that, okay. but it happens all over the world in Carnival. So, right. okay. 
Kai Sinat has come out and he's basically said, he's gone on live and he's like, I can't believe that people are trying to say that I'm mocking the Jamaican culture. I'm a Caribbean. My dad's Trinidadian. My mum's Haitian or vice versa. Other way around. <laughs> or vice versa, right? I, uh, I grew up eating roti. I grew up eating dolpri. All Trinidadian things, by the way. Um, so I feel like he's confusing the fact that you can still be Caribbean and mock a culture, which mm -hmm. is what you did. It's not the fact that you went to Jamaica and you were dancing up in carnival. It's the fact that you perpetuated all the stereotypical bad sides of the Jamaican culture. That's what you did. You, you know, you didn't go to Nigeria and start doing whatever Nigerians do, saying, oh, well, I'm only going to eat fufu or whatever it is. He didn't say anything stereotypical that could be deemed in a... In a um, in an offensive way. He didn't do that. He was respectful. He went and saw the people. He went and saw the culture. He did not do that in Jamaica. And that is why he is my enemy of progress. It's not because you're Caribbean, because yeah, I'm Caribbean. I'm not about to go to Jamaica and start saying, bomba clap, rascla, and my accent's better than yours, bruv. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> He's American, in it? So his yeah, accent's it's always going to be terrible. I, I, do you know what? You've, you've set the argument. I've, I, can't, I can't come in as an African. But um, the only thing, because at first I was like, is he just, you know, getting carried away and overexcited and not, uh, if his, did he apologise or was no, he just he defensive? He's doubling he, he down. Did, he did do a... Uh, it wasn't an apology, far from it. It was more, everybody's jumping on this because the person that, the tweet that went viral wasn't a black person. Oh. So he's like, you're all following after this person's tweet where that's not even factual because there were loads of Jamaicans that were offended. But also his argument is that he was there with Jamaicans. And they also participated in the reggae hats. Mm. So he's like, but I'm there with uh, let's call them authentic Jamaicans and they were cool with it. So why are you guys getting on at me and not getting on at the brethren? <laughs> it's, said, it's, it's also a fair said, point. He said, I've eaten jerk chicken. That's <laughs> the equivalent of I've got black friends. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Well, like, he, also, he did say he's got black friends. He was like, I, I, do, I hang out with Jamaican. Like, yeah. I, you know what? But is that not fair though? <sighs> no, it's, it's not. not. It's stupid. What, Just that? because you, you're around people that want to mock their culture, then it's okay for you to mock the culture. But no, you use your own common sense and think like, what is the implication of me doing this? Like, he's an intelligent guy, isn't he? <laughs> Auntie, no, yes. I, say, I feel I in would, trouble. Do you know that. what? I think he, I personally, <laughs> he, 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 I think he got caught up in the moment and didn't think. And I think you're right in that. Your personality, unfortunately, you can't just go out and do what you want to do. Mm. You have to double think, triple think about everything you do now is up for picking. And to be fair, if you, you and also if you care, you don't care, you don't care. It is what it is. You're going to have to deal with the response and deal with it. You're going to have to. There are so many beautiful things that he could have gone and shown in yes. Jamaica. Yeah. You know, and he didn't. He chose to dagger on the streets, wear a fake Rasta hat and say Bomber Clark. I mean, if you yeah. say it like that. No, that was disappointing, yeah. definitely. And I did go over and I watched things where he was in Ghana and when he was in Nigeria. And the coverage is very different. Yeah. That's all I'm he saying. definitely went there with a level of respect that mm -hmm. he didn't in Jamaica. That is, that is very true. I was coming here to defend him and then I watched over some stuff. And I can't even. Kaiser Nat, Why, thank you. Face the wall, please. <laughs> yeah, in trouble with the aunties. Yes. Auntie Shade, who's your enemy of progress? Okay, my enemy of progress <laughs> is this uh, UK lady. <laughs> who uh, unfortunately I thought she was gone I thought her career was over Honestly. I thought we was never going to hear from oh, her serious? again yeah oh. but no up pops Lily fucking Allen oh wow, oh, wow. yeah <laughs> Lily, fu Lily, Lily fucking, fucking Allen, Allen. Exactly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who? who's that exactly I don't know that person who's she oh, oh god <laughs> who is she beautiful gowns um, so yeah Lily Allen is my enemy of progress because she dead dead yeah to utter her her and herself utter words of critique <laughs> against against who against who Beyonce <laughs> against who imagine <laughs> imagine imagine what makes you think you're qualified Lily she, oh, she's an artist no she well 
Mm. Yeah, some might say that. <laughs> She's had success, of course, in the UK, some of the US as well kind of thing. Her early days and her success were sounding very similar to black culture at the time. I mean... Wasn't it? Mm. Some might call that appropriation, might they? Definitely name. would. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and she has the gall in this day and age to be on a podcast with her mate, Makia Oliver... That one for another day at the okay. moment. I'm going to focus <laughs> on Lily today. But with Mickey Orla, just basically saying that she didn't like Beyonce's cover of Jolene. But not only did she not like it, she thought that it was forced and it was like forcing a hip hop beat on it or something like that. It's just like, who, who are you to be <laughs> chatting anything about Beyonce? Seriously, you don't even have a quarter of the vocal range to even she compete. Does. Seriously, relax yourself. She's very, very annoying. Well, anyway, I didn't have to say anything because Azealia Banks... Every now and again, she comes out of the woodwork. Although Azealia is problematic, let me put that we out know. there. Well, she's she's been, 100%. She's, no, but she's been on point for the, about a year now. She's mm. consistently. She's been She's a consistent. broken clock. She is a broken <laughs> she clock. She is a broken clock. <laughs> she's been right twice mm. this yeah. year so far. Yeah, yeah. And she's this right. is the second time so far. Yeah. So yeah, she came out and basically called out Lily Allen. She was just like, listen, hun, mm. do you remember the time you was on the call with me, FaceTime, and you had to apologise for your racist rant oh. at me? Do you remember that? She kind of just aired out all that business and apparently Lily was sobbing on the bathroom floor. And stuff like that. <laughs> I know course. Lily now, seeing that, has got flashbacks to that moment. It's <laughs> yeah. just hoping that that call wasn't recorded <laughs> and doesn't go viral. If Do you it know was what I mean? now, it would have been. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So yeah, I think personally she's attention seeking. Obviously she's got this new pod with Makita and she's really trying to go after the GOAT. Beyonce and just just trash the thing. Do you know what I mean? Say what you want about the track, whether you like it or not. To me, Lily has no jurisdiction. She should keep her mouth shut. And she's just annoying. <laughs> she's just annoying. <laughs> on, she's Lily. an enemy. I go on. I would like to say <clears throat> I ain't in no gang, but I got shooters and I bang. That's what Lily I Allen needs to get. Because yeah. you know why, yeah? <laughs> How very dare you? <laughs> How very dare you even utter the name Beyonce and talk about anything? Have you listened to your own music? Because no one else has. Oh. In a long time. It has been people a while. Didn't, people didn't even years. know who you were. Do people you know had to... Like they had to put in um, links to things that you have previously done and talk about your husband because people know who your husband is. They don't know you, right? Her husband? Her husband's husband? a guy from the Marvels and he was in, have you seen? Um, um, What's his name? Oh my God. I don't know his name. There you go. He's the one, <laughs> right. But he's basically the one in, uh, what's the woman in Marvel? Is this a divorce? What's the woman? The woman? In what? She, no, the, the woman. The <laughs> the black suit. What's her name? Come black on. Widow. Black Widow. So in Black Widow's own story, in Black <laughs> Widow's... <laughs> I know, I, can, I was doing the move. In Black Widow's own... See, I'm an auntie and I'm going... Like, okay, please, go, 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 go. Yeah. 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 In Black Widow's own story, okay? Black Widow. Yes, Scarlett yeah. Johansson. He is... Scarlett yeah. Johansson yeah. is her dad. Oh. Oh, the guy who's in Stranger Things. Yes. No that way. is Lily Allen's no. husband. Husband now? What, the sheriff no. no. Stranger no. Things? Yes. Oh, was it? Don't yeah. Oh, what, is it, what is the age difference? Because well, he's know. a bit older, no? A little yeah, bit. He older. looks a lot older. Anywho. <laughs> and yeah, go ahead. She, Any, anywho. Yeah, no, really. They probably Lily Allen. Go away. What do you know about music? Why should anyone take anything that you have to say seriously? You culturally appropriated and then you disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, no. Do and not ever talk about, about, you know. Can I? Been about doing no. what? And she <laughs> had the yeah. cheek, doing yeah. What? She had the cheek to say that her career's gone off track because of her kids. She blames because her Because she kids. has her children. Her career's gone off track. Do you know you've got to be such a bitter and twisted woman to say that in front of media? Yeah, with your chest. It was... She needs to shut up, man. It wasn't how it was reported. And I actually did watch that clip. That, well, it's, it's an audio pod that she was on where she's talking about it. And she's being very tongue-in-cheek. And also her point was, I stopped my pop career to have kids. And so then in a quip, she's like, so you could say the kids derailed my career. Listen, but it wasn't, it wasn't she like she was blaming her children. But she didn't. She did not she didn't. stop. Both of those things are untrue. Right. She was blaming her children <laughs> and she didn't stop pop for having kids. She had to have, she had kids because the pop had stopped. Thank you so much. 
for I don't, making I, that I, statement. I, 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 well, I mean, I'm not a mega fan of hers. I don't know which way round it went, but just it was she wasn't critiquing her kids in that way that it was actually reported. For her to she say, I, 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 think, I think she's she's okay to talk about Beyonce. Her, I also had the same. Thoughts and so did Marianne last week on the same track. Yeah, that's Jolene fine. Jolene is so. Why is it not okay for the Lily one. to talk on Beyonce, but as black women we can? Or is that no? For me, okay. it's a cultural appropriator. Yeah, that's my. She's part. got form. She's been taking the piss, and she just doesn't. She doesn't. She's not qualified. She isn't qualified, and she's doing it for the wrong reasons. She's doing it for attention seeking and sensationalism because of her pod. Yeah, I I, I was in the same space where anyone can critique anything any if you mm-hmm. want to however I have a hard line with Lily because you did that video what's it called it was called Hard Out Here in 2013 mm-hmm. and you had black women mostly black women shaking their bums yes. and when people called it out and said it was cultural appropriation you were you didn't apologise you did a whole blog post it's listing all the reasons why this exists because I was challenging feminism but what you did was borrow black culture as you guys want to do to make a point it's mocking like a hip hop video yep. and then you had mm-hmm. girls shaking their ass. but if you want to challenge feminism there's so many other videos you could have parodied but it's always that dipping into black culture to, to commit middle finger rappers but that's got nothing to do with you because you're not even a rapper you're not even in that space so who are you talking to if you're trying to challenge feminism so in that respect I like I don't want you to talk about us don't come out of your space and again use black culture to sell your pod don't do that that's the part where I'm like don't talk um, Lily keep keep quiet and also in that same moment Makita says aren't you working on a country album yourself (gasps) <gasps> to which she says, but I'm not like trying to conquer the country market. I'm here because I've always loved country music and I've always loved country music. Not saying Beyonce doesn't, but I tell stories in my songs and quite a lot <laughs> of country music does the same thing. I think it's well suited to what it is that I do. So shut the hell up, Lily. Hold shut up, the fuck up. Wait a up. minute. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. I never knew she said that. Hold up. So wait a minute. The same pod. Makita jokingly challenges her co-host by mentioning that Lily is working on a country album herself. She Shut up, Lily. Oh, Lily. That's infuriated me more. Lily. Actually, you know what? Makita can go in there as well. I was just about to come on to Makita. Because because, because what the hell? She Because, okay, so everything you said, fair. But because of that proximity to blackness that Makita gives her, I think that also gives her license. Yeah, Yeah. she thinks she can chat. She says that's her her best friend. Mm -hmm. So Makita also has, she has form as well. She has a lot of form. A lot of form for being anti-black, and she stands on that as well. She Two pods ago on their podcast, she was talking about it. Yes. Yeah, what did she so, say? Oh, she's um, she had a full-on identity crisis. Mm-hmm. Like, was really uncomfortable in black spaces. Oh she's yes, come from a black I remember mother, that. I remember that. Which is even more like could layer to it because usually those identity crises are usually leveled at people with white mums. But she didn't like being around black folks, and she didn't feel comfortable around black people for years, for many years. And Lily is her best friend. So maybe, okay, I hold my hands up. Lily is a firm enemy of progress. Yeah. Oh, we one. added Makita of it. Yeah. Oh, it feels I mean, I, I'm not going to add Makita. No, I'm absolutely but adding I think her. I'll have a conversation. Absolutely. For me, for me. Adding yeah. her, man. She Makita's enabled it. There. She enabled it. She's in on it. And <laughs> then she stoked it. the fire because she, she knew that was coming. So that's why she said it. Yeah. You're about, you got an album coming. Oh, fuck off. And then she tried to Seriously. say. I tell stories. What Beyonce don't tell stories. That's, exactly. that's, and that's, that's bitchy. That's, that's bitchy yeah. because that is bitchy. Beyonce does is a storyteller. I feel like my type of music is more suited to that. I don't yeah, see. Okay. I don't see how the correlation what's, what's even the goes. I don't even know. I don't even what, know. Lily did country. The, is she, is she, is she is from Texas um, at yeah. all? Is she from the south? You're from you're the is UK. That what she is? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think it's so weird. Other than her whiteness. To be like, I have license to do country more so more than, than Beyonce, else. but more than Beyonce is from Texas at the very least, and from the giving colonizer. Yeah, oh, it is. Lily. Um, Nana, it is. who's your enemy of progress? Quickly, have you got a quick little one? Here? Okay, all right, <laughs> guys. I want to bring to court today. Oh. <laughs> I want to put forward. <laughs> hear again. you, hear you. I know that's the wrong thing. <laughs> in, in, in our court, it's fine. Hear you, hear you. Miss R. Fabulous. Oh gosh, I, I, I need to put her in the enemy of progress bin because she (laughs) has decided to be going on live almost every day, but her latest (laughs) live, she's out here looking crazy. She's back in the UK and people have been saying like, they've been calling her a tranny in her, in her inbox. Like they've been slating her. So she decided to get on her live. 
But the, yeah, I was about to say, Chani is a slur. We're not allowed like, to say slur. that. No, they've been coping her off. Okay. To get on her live and stand up, and sh- it looks like she has a phallic kind of dildo y thing in her pants, and she's come out and been like, I am, I do have a dick. And it's just <laughs> a bit much. I think she's too old for these antics online. I'm over it. I want to support Renee so much. I want her to grow up and be a really good content creator. But every so often, she does stupidness like this. <laughs> So she is an enemy of progress because I can't support her properly. I do you know what I? I'm also I laughed a lot when I saw the video, and I actually thought it was a funny way of coming back if people are coming for her. So I'm going to come for you, make you feel even more uncomfortable. In her madness, I kind of <laughs> rated her madness in this video. It was I laughed too much to be angry with her because I was like, wowie, wowie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to give her a hug. I'm like, that was funny. Behave, but that was funny. I can't lie. When I saw the video, I was in stitches. I was like, that is hilarious. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she is annoying though. I'm sorry, slightly. You are. Do you need fizz? Fair. They, these are questions that people are asking. <laughs> and She always to, comes, sorry, she good. always comes back and then like does a little mad thing. Then she's back in Jamaica, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. She may need money for real. Watch this space. Anything to add, Auntie Shard? <laughs> All right, let's get into welcome to the family. Who are we welcoming to our family? Okay, so I'm going to welcome to the family Palumi Nubi, who has just done an amazing, amazing challenge. She challenged herself to drive from London to Lagos, and she's absolutely done it. She's done it in about four months, driving by herself, like... That's amazing. So crazy. Yeah. I bet she had a good playlist. Yeah. Oh, she had to. It wasn't Lily Allen. Creating content at the same time, which is obviously insane, but... I guess she had to document it and stuff as well. And I think she's the first black woman to do this too, which is amazing. And yeah, she just uh, completed it recently. She was in Lagos. She had like a, such a lovely welcome. Aww. Like I think some ministers came out and everything like that. That's and cute. she's got a new car now. Oh, she everything. deserves that. She deserves yeah. that. What did she get? Do you know what car it was? Because she should have got, got a range, the biggest, baddest range Rover or something. All, all of the car people need to give her <laughs> yeah. stuff. Like, all yeah. the cars. Oh, I, lo- I love that though. That's that nice. A huge welcome to the family. Um, yeah. I'd like to welcome Dawn Staley. She's a black women's basketball coach. She led the University of South Carolina to its second NCAA Women's Basketball Championship win in three years. And this is huge for women's sport because South Carolina's victory over Iowa set a new viewership record for women's college basketball, attracting an average of 18.7 million viewers, oh. peaking at 24 million viewers. So it's like a big thing. Mm. Women's basketball has had a come up in the past couple of years where it was totally ignored. Now, all of a sudden, the NWB, sorry, I can't even say it. WNBA is now like kind of rivaling the NBA, you know, the usual men's basketball thing. So, yeah, it's just really good. And Dawn Staley, by the way, if you didn't know, she's a black woman. and She's a black woman coach and she's doing the damn thing. So just want to welcome her to the family and big up for women in sport and all that good stuff. Thank you to her. So I would like to welcome to the family um, the Prime Minister of Albania. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. oh, cool. So the Prime Minister of Albania, Eddie Rama, was in a press conference with the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, because he's got blinkers on. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and basically, live in this um, press conference, he said... We support Palestine. We have been supporting Palestine and recognizing Palestine as a state for the last 36 years. We, um, you know, we are, as Albanians are fighting against the devils, yeah. America. Um. Then he went on to say <laughs> Israel. Mm-hmm. You know, he said it with chest as well. And then just in case anyone was about to call him anti Semitic, he made the points about the fact that during the World War, uh, people were flying in to Albania and not one Jew was lost. Not one Jewish life lot was lost during that, the World War. They took people in. They have been keeping people safe. They have a massive Jewish community. He just made a point about that. So you can't call him anti-Semitic. What he stated was he is anti-Zionism. Yeah. So for me, welcome to the family for saying that with your chest in front of the devil. <laughs> and he couldn't do anything. It was he could the do best nothing. thing. All the guy could do was look at him like plainly, like rah. He just said that in my face. Did he, just he say that in me. front of all these people? It was brilliant. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes. Who you welcoming? Okay, so I would like to welcome <laughs> J Cole 
to the family. And I'd really like to welcome him mm. because him apologising <laughs> to Kendrick Lamar really warmed my heart. <laughs> it warmed my heart because it went against the norm of hip hop. Like he did his diss track and then 48 hours after it was released in the Dreamville Festival, <laughs> He felt bad. He said his soul was unsettled. And he said what he did was really lame and whack. So that he apologised. And I, I know he's getting a hell of a lot of backlash and people are saying he's moist and all manner of things. He's and moist. <laughs> you had Marl from Rory and Marl saying that he is going to rip up anything he has of J. Cole. He will never go and see That's him again. Wow. He, he was really full on rant about it. He said it's not hip hop. It's sacrilege. He didn't use those words, but I'm giving it to him. What he did. But I like that he is redefining hip hop and masculinity. I like that he apologised. I think... Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> I mean, welcome, J. Cole, because he's a great rapper, but not welcome for this. Oh. No. I don't... I think I... And he's not redefining hip hop because hip hop's got a long way to go before masculinity is redefined in hip hop. It's, it's a step, step, no. It's a teeny. It I, is, I don't is, believe no, the step because not. because where you said it was whack, that part, that part. No, I didn't it, say that. People were saying what that part because I believe that his heart wasn't in it. He gave kind of a weak response to um, Kendrick's initial refute of the fact that there's three top rappers. Kendrick said, "Nah, man, it's just me." Yeah. So then you came back and just his um, Kendrick's catalogue. Kendrick's catalogue is not to be sniffed at. And J. Cole knows that. And his bars weren't strong enough to go against Kendrick. So then he's like, you know what? I don't even have the energy for this because I'm going to have to go and think about some disses. Kendrick's going to come back at me. It's going to go on forever. It's going to go back and forth. I'm tired. I just want to do my concerts and go about my business. So he said, let me be the bigger man and let me apologise. I don't believe the apology is all the way I felt bad and I wanted, no. So it was wasn't at peace. No, he wasn't at peace because he was thinking of how to... Nice. He's like, I can't think of bars. Nice, I can't think nice, of bars. Nice, I don't nice. have time. Let's, let's be for real. Yeah. He's dropping an album. That's and why he that apologised. Yeah? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the only reason. It's just trying to do a new spin on like rap battles and yeah. everything like that. And it's not hip hop. It's pathetic. Like Seriously. Hip hop is its own. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm not deep in it as I was. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's its own world. Like battling is part of hip hop. Literally. Do you know what I mean? It's got who's got the best bars. Exactly. Battle it out. Do you know what I mean? And he done the pussy thing. He <laughs> was just like he did he did he he actually got worse yeah because he should have even responded no why respond that exact part that's what you he should have done what drake did do you know does, what i mean does. and just just ignore it yeah. do you know what i mean that's what you should have done but yeah. no you came out gave some petals like just a ridiculous track long ridiculous yeah. and then come back to apologize because you're in front of your audience. Oh, get out of it get out so of it man not, we're not respecting that he he realized everything you said he, and no, he, didn't, he wasn't no. honest he with his response. It. He, he didn't, done wasn't it honest in such it. a safe public space. Yeah? yeah, it's nothing. If you if you really want to apologise, you should go and see and sit down in front of Mr. Kendrick. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And go and talk about why why this was a problem in the first place and reconcile your differences. That's what you should do. You don't go and apologise in front of your own audience and then talk about your albums coming. Get he, the fuck out of here, man. He should have done. I let Nas down part two. He he should have done that and done a whole track about apologising to Kendrick and why Kendrick's a goat. He's apologised to us all. Mm. <laughs> because he even got our hopes up. What, what was that? It was a waste of time. It was a foolishness. Yeah, it yeah. was a post and delete. It yeah. was, that's what that was. I mean, yeah. it was, and the wasn't thing it is, called I Made Delete? His, 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 his album. album. And the thing is, the album is, album is actually... Yeah, it's marketing. Because the album's it's actually marketing. really good. Marketing. The album's really good. Now, I love J. Cole. Yeah. And I love Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. But let's be real. That was shit. Mm. Our friend to the family, Amanda, said um, that <laughs> <laughs> it was messier than his dreads. I mean, <laughs> facts. I think once the locks grew, everything went askew. Oh. No, I don't believe that. I but do people believe. are saying no. he's come back. You even this, said the this album, album is gangster. And the thing is, there was a moment. I've, I've, I'm for early J Cole to 2014. Same when I because I did the maths. I, yeah, I did the maths because when I remember I said that him and Drake being buddies has stressed me out. Both of them in the early of their careers up until 2014 for J. Cole and 2017 for Drake, for me, for me, that's when I fell off both of them mm -mm. for a split mm -mm. second. Kendrick's, I'm with him from day one to the end. Um, this album is bad, J. Cole. You did not need to do all of this. This album is gangster. That's what he was saying. 
But this is not but the first is... time. This is the second time he's done this shit. He's yeah, and he and really he, does. He, do he, he says he slips. No. Because peer pressure. Are How we not, not respecting no. that? It's, it's Drake's fault. I'm sorry. Sir. It's I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? I'm Jay, sorry, Jay, Jay, yeah. Go, go. Yeah. Are, are we forgetting, like, what, 15 years ago, yeah? He was talking about, oh, you know, can't let Nas down. I put out this track and it wasn't great and it wasn't authentically me. I'm so sorry, guys. Now I'm going to do this. This is exactly the same place. Is. is that you done those years ago? Seriously, get out. You think we're stupid? Yeah, it's annoying. Right? It's, no. it's, it's annoying. It's annoying. It's Drake's fault. And you're making everybody debate for too much about this. <laughs> Getting people angry. I'm I don't, actually annoyed. I, the only part I don't like so is the more. moistness. Listen, yeah. I don't like the moist. I don't like the critique of masculinity and hip. I don't like that. I don't think it's. I don't think he's being a pussy because pussies are strong, by the way. Um, I don't think it's not Very a moistness, fierce. but I think it's just stop wasting our time. <laughs> It's Drake's fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it probably is, to be fair. Probably Kendrick dissed Drake, them. Did you okay? want to mention yeah. your brethren? Let me know. I haven't you're finished. Her. Sorry, honey. I haven't even really made a point. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl. It's Drake's fault. Okay. Yes. Kendrick dissed them both. Drake knows he yes. could never, mm. ever come out and, and test Kendrick. So what he did was he went to J. Cole and he was like, <laughs> Can you hear what he said about you? Yeah. He did Jedi mind trick. So he then did. J. Cole was like, Yeah. I'm going to say something. <laughs> he said something and it was shit. Yeah. So he came back out and he knew it was shit. And he's like, you know what? I apologize. It's Drake's fault. He should have just said, I haven't got that. And he should have been honest. All I'm saying, he should have been honest about where he was at. I, can't, I ain't got energy for this. I can't go bar for bar with Kendrick. I don't have the capacity. It's over. Oh, okay. So you're saying his honesty of like my spirit, it, this isn't where I am. No, that's not true. But you, you wanted to hear him absolutely like Admit. really go on his knees and, and <laughs> frustrate and, and be like, I'm shit compared you to You have just taken so many words that I never said. That's what you literally no, said. No, I'm saying just be honest that you don't have the energy to go bar for bar but for Kendrick right that, now. He said spiritually it didn't sit well with you. No, that's, that's not different. The same that's thing. not the same. Right. As, that's no. not the same as saying, uh, I cannot. What? You're reaching. You're taking meaning. You're reaching. You're reaching. You're reaching. You're reaching. I absolutely don't. <laughs> no, but exactly. I, I do like when men apologise. I no, like I, you know, but I like men to apologise for the real reasons yes. and be honest. That's where men do well. Do These are, and, and for it not to be wrapped up in marketing for your album. Exactly. Please. Everybody stop marketing, fake marketing, man. Allow it. Aren't I mean, the, the, the rollouts are getting silly. That's for real. Auntie Charlotte, who do you want to quickly welcome to the family? Because okay. I do it. I'm welcoming <laughs> a very, very special man to mm. the family. It's, I feel like we need music. I can't think of it. needs like a... <laughs> deal. <laughs> he's um he's a South Londoner. <laughs> Very happy about that. He's a Nigerian. Of course well. he is. He, I mean he is. Of course he is. He is. <laughs> That's what he is. And uh his name is Damson Idris. <laughs> Damn son. Damson Idris. I cannot. Damson Idris. He covers Essence, what is it called? The uh, sexiest man of the moment. They have a new list. Mm -hmm. They have a new list. They're rating uh, the black <sighs> men out there. And this is in response to like, I think people like uh, magazines like People yeah, mm -hmm. and stuff. Man. They have the sexiest man alive and that sort of thing. So this is their finally doing one. I mean, we've waited a friggin' long time need. for this. Do you know what I mean? And Damson is number one. Mm -hmm. He beat be all of his American cousins. And he's at number one. Stoking he's on the, the fire. <laughs> I mean, he's on the front cover of the magazine. I know, I know. And I, I feel video. And the, the video. Yes, the video. Oh, guys. Hmm. Again, all I've got to say is, damn, son. <laughs> hey, hey. Jeez. Hey. The video hey, is a lot. Hey. I didn't, when you were talking about the video. I told you. But I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> watching it. I just heard you guys talking about it. Then oh. I watched the video and I was, okay. The video is a lot. Ooh. He has matured yes. very finely. Mm -hmm. And his place at number one is very well deserved. Yeah. I don't actually think there is another person that comes close to him in America I mean, I have, I have or in the UK. I think he is the number one. I actor. have a couple. They, I mean, good looking few. men. Yeah, there is good yeah there's, there's loads. loads. Actors. Mm, I, no, this is, this is not act, just actors. Just this is just men. men. Mm. Yeah, but Russell yeah. Wilson's number two. Mm. Oh. Is he? Yeah. 
Okay. They released what? it today. What Russell, the hell? Was, um, <laughs> Sierra's <Ew>. husband. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Oh, they started so well. <laughs> this is, like, this is what I'm saying. So Come on, well. American man. I just man. lost all credibility. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh, oh, why did they do no, that? I mean, it's not that he couldn't be in the top 10, but sexiest I put him at 10. Sexiest man of the moment. Not sexiest. Sexiest. Best husband. Good man. <laughs> Good you know man. Rel- reliable. I can put Russell at 10. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I think even cute. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He isn't sexy. sexy. He isn't. Seriously. He is in a different category. He's like you said, best husband, Mm. best stepfather, good man, you know, faithful man. He's good looking. Christian man. He's good looking. That's what he is. Sexy. He's not sexy. And he's definitely not number two. He's not no. number two. Well, they just released... number three? They he's haven't not... done that. They just re- I've, I've just seen they released Russell just before he's we got not here. not even number 20. I'd like to say that um, <laughs> if my niece or my daughter... Actually, how old is Emma? 24. Okay. Possibly. But my niece definitely brought home Dams and I'd be very happy because our kids would be beautiful. Um, I feel like... I know Damson, I feel like I'm such an auntie around him, so I can't perv over him. But he is a beautiful, fine young man. And I'd love for him to be my nephew. That's not your perving. business. No, it's for, not me. for me. It's for me. No, for me. No, you're saying the word perv. Yeah, not so you're calling yeah. it. Appre- it's appreciating. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. don't say perv. That's exactly what you've done. <laughs> it's appreciating yeah. his beauty and his sexiness and that his win because he is number one on the list. Well done, Damson. Well done. Again. Yeah. Damn, son. <laughs> Let's get into <laughs> our dilemmas with aunties know best because we know the best. We give you the best answers. Okay. Who's going to go first? Shall I go yeah, first? Go. Okay, this is from, <laughs> this is from the internet. <laughs> Our old friend, Meek Mills, is ranting again. And this time he's got a real dilemma. He's got a real dilemma, guys. Mm. He's called out rapper Wale for taking a photo with someone he's no longer friends with. Wale is actually unbothered about this, but Meek went, in on to, went into a full-on rant. Who's wrong here? Meek's like, that's my, you're not my brethren, brethren, but you're my brethren. Why are you taking pictures of my op? While he's like, we're not that close. Shut up. <laughs> Who's wrong? I personally don't ever care on these situations. <laughs> yeah. So unless, like, I don't subscribe to, if you're beefing with somebody, I must beef with them too. I don't subscribe to that. I'm not going to be their best friend if we're friends, but I ain't going to blank them. And if they came over to me and asked for a picture... I'm going to take a picture and whatever hell you give me is the hell that you get. But I am not going to. I think I'm just too old for that. And I wasn't even like that when I was a teenager. I'm not going to beef with somebody or beef with. So I'm on Wale's side. It's fair. Take a picture. Yeah, I'm complete opposite. Mate. <laughs> Seriously. 100% loyal. Ride or die. It works both ways. If you don't like someone, we don't like them. <laughs> if I don't like someone, you don't, you don't like them. That's it. Like, do you know what I mean? Because it's just like, you can't be friends with my op. You can't be associated with my op. Then I'm looking at you sideways then. I can't trust you. If you're with my op, I don't like my op. And you're with someone that I don't like. Nah. Don't sit with no, me. No, but if we were all friends... By but all accounts. That's, account, that's it not like, the case the, though. No, no. So the, the guy was his best friend. Was who's best friend? Was, um, was Meek's best friend? Was Meek's best friend. But he doesn't know Wale. Look, so Wale, Wale met them together as okay. boys. And so then Meek and this one, Meek says that the guy tried to steal money from him, so he's no longer talking to him. But Wale wasn't involved in their beef. So... Just stay out of should... it. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with you. You shouldn't be taking pictures or anything. <laughs> what are you taking pictures for? That's crazy. If you're my friend and you value my friendship, what are you doing? That's crazy. What do you think? Aren't you far? Mm, I'm a bit both. <laughs> I think you'd be a bit both. Mm. Because, I will tell you, Kevin, oh, why? <laughs> what Switzerland is this? <laughs> because it depends on my friendship. If that's my brethren, yeah, and I know that's your up, me and you can't chat in it. And if you're talking to me, I know you're trying to talk to me to get to my brethren. Do you know what I mean? You're doing yeah. it to get to for fuckeries. Yeah. That's really what it They're is. All three are friends. But, but still, if they're if not you're my brethren, anymore, yeah, and yeah. and so me and her brethren, there's an yeah. op. She don't chat to that girl no more. If the girl comes to me, you know that's my bona fide. You're yeah. only talking to me because you're trying to get to her. Yes, yeah, right. Because me and you ain't really friends like that. I might know you, but we're not friends like that. So if the me, intention is so off. the intention yeah. is to piss her off. Okay. Yeah. If we're just acquaintances. And you come to me and I'm only an acquaintance with this person over there. 
What's the problem? We're all acquaintances in this thing. Yes. So I might be like, hi, I might not be on your case or anything like that, but I would be polite because we're just all acquaintances. I don't really roll with you. I don't really roll with them. That's why I am Switzerland. I'm the same. I think it depends on the level of your friendship. And also, yeah, just, yeah, I don't think I can chat. I think it's exactly that. It depends on the level of your friendship. If we're super close and it's a known enemy, it doesn't work for me. If we're kind of lightly, lightly, it is what it is. Because I don't, I, and also if uh, the other scenario is, if you all met together, because they all met together, yeah. and you two, so Meek and the best friend falls out, but you guys haven't fallen out. It also depends on the nature of the falling out, because what, why did you guys fall out? Over money, I might be like, I'll distance myself because you seem like a bit of a dodgy person. But if it's a different kind of falling out, that also is a situation that has to be looked at as like, if you lot are falling out because of personality clash, but we get on, there's something in, then do we like stop speaking? Because I could still be close to Farah, for example, but you lot fell out of something that's nothing to do with how we interact. So I'm that's the part you. where I'm like, I might not drop you if we're cool and it's got nothing, doesn't affect anything over here. I think that's the part where I might be like, there's levels to this. Oh, I, I feel you. All right. Next. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> dilemma time. My man poops every time he buses. Good grief. <laughs> A woman has said that every time her husband comes... He can't help but poop. Wait, what? <laughs> Indeed. Every time her husband comes, he poops at the same time. That's not I've nasty. never heard that this. Is, that's foul. <laughs> <laughs> that is. She says that he can't help it. It seems to be like an. It, it, the, the two seem to go hand in hand with each other. Kind of. Um, and it's a. It's, sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's a little. <laughs> and he can't control what's taking place. Oh, God. So this has been happening from since they dated. She dated him. She married him. <laughs> this has still happened. They have two children. So even in the... When they were conceived, this oh, took place. No. Oh, God. Okay? They've been married <laughs> for 11 months now. So 11 months into the marriage. And now she is sick of it. Now it is making her feel physically sick. Each time he comes... And poops on the bed. <laughs> and she is considering leaving him. What would you advise, ladies? What should she do? Should she leave him now? Or should she lay in her bed? <sighs> Some women are just suffering. <laughs> They're just suffering. I... This suffering needs to stop, man. <laughs> You don't have to do this. You don't. There's no man, yeah, that can be that good that you're tolerating this. She said he's a good man, but it doesn't. What did but I say? <laughs> there's no man that can be that good. He, he sounds like he's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, Quite all literally. of those of you suffering of this disorder, I've never ever ever heard of this before. I don't know how far this could have gone with me. I don't know if I could been, continue to date that person and had to suffer the poop every single time we had sex. I don't think it would have lasted. I don't know. As Andy said, I don't know what level of man. I don't even know if money could be involved. I don't know. No. I don't know if money could be involved. Not rich. Absolutely not. Like I would every single time not. you poo, you you come, you poo. I don't think we would have got to the kids in eleven months in the marriage. I don't think. I, so I think that's happening say. one time, <gasps> just and once. Bro, so like first time just sex. Just one time. You, that, and then, because that's man poo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she said it's that. violent. Just disgusting. No, it's you violent. know it's disgusting. It's a raw poo. You know. That's disgusting. Mm. Let me tell you. Absolutely. Not. It's Let violent. Let me tell you <laughs> this. It's violent. Yeah. <laughs> one time and one time one only. Time. <laughs> we got to say for one night, one night alone. That's what I'm telling you. Because... There is no way on God's <laughs> green earth, yeah, that I'm sleeping with you and every time I sleep with you, you're doing a shit. Every single time. Let's call it what it is. It's a big dump. Man's what taking a big... No, she said it's a little bit. Oh, it might be a dribble. It might be a slither. It might be a lot. You know, you know poo's different consistency. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. There's that too. Yeah? Yeah. You don't know yeah. what you're going to get. Yeah, yeah you don't. Is, it's a surprise. Yeah, it's, it's a disgusting. slurpy surprise. No, you're disgusting. How does she She's even... She's disgusting. She's disgusting. Ooh. She is. Oh. Is it not? He, I think he is. They're both disgusting. But she's tolerant. No, I, I, 
I, How did because, you marry okay, him? No, my, uh, okay, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. this is seems like a medical condition. I would, so I, I, I might remove the word disgusting because it is a medical dis No, it's dis still disgusting. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that <laughs> like in regards to if people are out there, they're experiencing this because this is a problem. This is, and I don't know how much, it doesn't say where, how, where they've got doctors involved. What is this? I've never heard of this condition before, but I can imagine on this green, God's green earth, yeah, probably that's, there are people that are suffering this. Mm. I, comm I actually commend her for standing by him. I mean, you've done well because I couldn't. Her. Because you, how did you put up with it? No, how? This is, this is this me at peak. This is no Tim. This is the highest level. <laughs> no, pick me. I must have a man. <laughs> okay. I must. <laughs> but right. <laughs> No, but no, hell. no, I'd like to no, err on the side of right. You conceived your children with shit. <gasps> oh, it's true. It's true. It happened. It is true. No, I'd like every time you have sex with this. You know what? I wouldn't even want to have sex with this man. Every no. single time you have sex with him, he shits. Mm. Yeah. Think of the different positions. And let me just explain this to you as well. When you're fucking, because let's be real. When you're fucking your man, right? You might not necessarily know when he's gonna come because you're mixing it up in it. If you're no, in the moment, they, and you're, if you're in the moment, they it simple, if you're in, I mean, the, how do you? But how do you if you're know? in the moment, <laughs> well, if he wants and to you're having fun, and you want to spice like up poop, your thing, but they might. Well, they, what kind of position could he be they, in? They, think, when, uh, imagine they're doing. Oh, because she said, "Come." They, imagine they're doing sixty-nine. No, no, no. no. Imagine I they're think, doing sixty-nine. No, I think. Okay, let's. Let's, I think Yuck. that probably that she's endured this, mm. then maybe they've had like a way of doing it so that there's maybe an element of control. But now she's at the end of her tether because it's disgusting. Like, no, no, but it's disgusting because it's, it's, she's. I don't believe they're doing the, the all, whole just serotonin has started to wane. Yeah. What yeah. happens? Yeah. Like so, at one point she was in love with him. She could forgive the this, shit and yeah. the smell. Now it's gone. What I think you should do is you should invest in tenor. Tenor ladies for men. They're bigger nappies. He could put on the nappy, slip his dick to the side. You jump on. The the poo is caught in a nappy. Doesn't have, have to go a hole in your through bed. the. Um... Yeah. So then she's got three nappies to change. If you love it, only you when you're going to have think, sex with it. I, I think seriously. Hold on, baby, me, so he has to put on. So he has to put on. Yeah. A nappy. <laughs> a nappy and a condom. <laughs> Uh, no, but hold on, but there are yeah, but there, no. there, there's, there, the seriousness is there are no. people out there with conditions that we are also going to be saying that's disgusting, nasty, and they have to find a way to navigate it. So, in all seriousness, there are that. What are the solutions that if you okay. love him and you feel like this is the father of your kids, what are the solutions there is trying? Do you know what the solution is? The solution is that he should have gone to a doctor a long time ago. But we don't know if they if have. This, we don't know if they have this, or haven't. Did she say that? No, I'm saying we don't, no, know. We don't know. Right. We either way. The solution is he needs to go to a doctor. If mm. you want to keep your man and you want to keep your marriage and all of that stuff, he needs to go to a doctor mm -hmm. or you never, ever have sex with him ever again. Because mm. shitting in the bed or wherever the hell you're fucking is disgusting. Girl, leave. Okay. Just leave. Leave now. Leave now. You should have left yesterday. Seriously. <laughs> just get just get a better life. You you do not have to suffer like this. Do you know what I mean? Like if he wants to go and have shit sex with with other girls, they well, would do that. like this. Do you know someone, what I mean? Someone, this is their pleasure. pleasure. It might be their kink, yeah. but it's not her kink. Yeah. And that's yeah. the and point. And she's, she's got her kids now. Who's cleaning the shit? She is. She is. Of course yeah, she, she is. She's she changing she the seats. You know, say that she has been changing she is. the seats. She I just think there's two lanes. Exactly that. Leave because you're, 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 you're vomiting at this point. Or if you really want to be with him, there, there has to be medical procedures and you have to find some advice on how you to navigate this. Because there's probably because, and there's something. And things like that. That's what I'm saying. There's, it's yeah. going to push out. Yeah, no, because a but no, he could throw up. Oh, no, not necessarily. There's, some, there's, some, there's, there's something in the piping yeah. that probably just needs like a, a little surgery. A little exactly. To exactly. Switch That's it up a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. He needs to get it sorted. But maybe he's one of those where you can't even talk about it. That means you ain't having sex. Let's and that was, if he's that you guy. You can't talk about it, but you can shit in front of no, me when you come. No. And but you can't you know, talk you, about you know it. Get people. Out of here. You know, some people For are years. like, no, no, he, he, you he, love me with all I come with, boys. Oh, my shit. No. We're going right. to talk about it. I mean, or... there's like, there's options here. <laughs> Just leave. Next. <laughs> okay. I got married in 2020 while I was pregnant. I lost my job in 2022. 
And since then, we've been navigating life on my husband's wages. This year, things took a positive turn with his new job, improving our financial situation, helping us afford better opportunities for our four-year-old son who's autistic and in therapy. I recently found out that I was pregnant. At first, my husband seemed okay, but then he suggested an abortion because he was worried about our capacity to handle another child on top of our son's needs. I couldn't agree to that. He said he wasn't going to force me to get one, but... But that was his stand. That was his stance on the situation. Then my husband blindsided me and said that he was unhappy and wanted a divorce. Mm. <laughs> After a whirlwind of decisions and moving out, I miscarried. In the midst of all of this, my husband asked for forgiveness and told me to come back. Mm -mm. I returned, mainly for our son who needed his father. Now I'm home and we're trying to find our way through the confusion and hurt. My husband is apologetic. I'm wrestling with a mix of feelings and I'm finding it difficult to forgive him. And I keep considering taking on his taking him on his initial request for a divorce. What mm. do I do? Divorce. Ooh, yeah. Straight off the bat, bro. Follow that yes. feeling, man. Yeah, Seriously. it's enough now. At the end of the day, it's su it's suspect. Yes. Yeah. It's absolutely suspect. Yeah. Like, you know, he didn't want a baby and then the baby's gone. Mm -hmm. Now he wants you back. Like, really? Like, no, he seems like an untrustworthy man. Yeah, Most definitely. And like Dr. Umar would say, this looks suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, yeah. you should be retracing your steps on what you had eaten around him, like all of that stuff. You cannot trust him. And your gut that is being like, maybe I should be getting divorced to him. That's your gut trying to tell you something. Like, you should. You can't trust this man. Really, you're in this together anyway. If you've you've had a child, both of you participate. You got pregnant, both of you participated. Him even asking for an abortion yeah. anyway. I think you should have been thinking this ain't the man for me. Yeah, really. And then to double down and be like, I want a divorce. Then go back on, I want a divorce to come back to me. Now nah, you can't trust him. It's a blindsiding for me. Like you know, it's it's over. Nah, he's gross. Yeah. Done. It's over. Leave even him. if he didn't poison her. <laughs> I think you're implying. Even if he didn't poison her, I think the main thing is that the trust is gone. Yeah. You can't trust a man like that because what if you get pregnant again mm -hmm. and then he's just going to decide that he doesn't want you? I don't think that's right. I think there's, uh, yeah. there's fair conversations to be had and he's absolutely okay to voice his fears. But the ultimatum, then going back on it, and it's like he's doing Jedi mind, Jedi mind tricks. And then, yeah, nah, he's playing games. And I don't, he's not actually truly honest. No, no, not all. Oh, to Shade. <laughs> okay. Does my boyfriend fetishize black women? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be yeah. a yes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, ladies, I need to vent and get some advice. My boyfriend and I have been together for over two years. He's mixed race, Chinese and white. And early in our relationship, he mentioned he specifically likes black women because they're more caring, warm and not basic. His <laughs> well, words. Okay. I felt good about being his type, but as time passed, some issues arose. However, something seemed to be bothering me lately um, is whenever we're out, he constantly checks in with other black women. He checks out, sorry, other black women. He tries to compensate with compliments. If he suspects I caught him in the act, mm. um, but it doesn't erase the discomfort. Now I hesitate to watch certain shows, movies, etc., together because... <gasps> He gets hard Ooh. when he sees black women on screen. Ew. That's really dirty. That's, that, that's, that's, you can't control your body. Yeah, yeah that's ew. On, that ew. Is, ew. Mm -mm. What are you, 15? Exactly. <laughs> that, right. Oh, my God. Okay, so recently <laughs> he went to a solo trip in uh, to China and admitted to flirting to a black woman. He apologised and, and blamed being drunk abroad and clubbing. Uh, abroad and clubbing with single friends. This whole situation has been weighing on me. Being this insecure makes it difficult for me to see I am tripping. Um, is see if I'm tripping at the whole situation or not. Any a thought or advice would be appreciated. The people are right, isn't it? Like, yeah, dude, dude is, um, he's very dodgy. Yeah. So, yeah, he does fetishize black, black women. That's uh, gross. And he didn't just flirt, he fucked. What when he was abroad? When he was abroad. Yeah, yeah he did, he did didn't he? He wasn't a flirt. Yeah, you just did, you told half the story. Yeah, he did. He's a cheater at best. You know what though? I will say though, I really dis. 
like this whole first part where she was just like, you know, he specifically likes black women. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, yeah. 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 Um, you got gas. I felt that's... good about being his type. Yes. So yes. That is the thing. Like, yeah. seriously, mm-hmm. that's a pick me. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't be so easily is. pleased. Yeah. 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 It's so easily and pleased. Red flag. Yeah. 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 You she fell for it. it. Yeah. yeah. She she Until you realise you weren't you weren't the pick. Yeah. The only pick. And now you're being like, oh no, but issues arose. That that was your sign. He actually was very honest. Mm. Really, yeah. but when he said I specifically only date black women, and then listed the reasons, which is very generic, mm-hmm. yeah. which also is then saying that we are absolutely like a monolith, yeah. and yes. he is after every single one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, there are basic black women. Yes, mm-hmm. there are ones that are not warm. Yeah. yeah. So that she was okay. like, oh my god, I'm I I've been picked. Yeah, suggests that you have a lot of self esteem mm-hmm. issues, and he saw you coming. He definitely did sleep with somebody in absolutely. China. Absolutely, that happened. Yeah, you gotta be careful, ladies. Yeah. Definitely. Dump him. <laughs> All right, let's go on the, the last one, I think, possibly. Would I be the arsehole if I blocked my sneaky link for using my toothbrush? <laughs> Please help me out. No! <laughs> <laughs> Please help me out here. I've been linking this girl for about six months now. It's nothing serious. I met her at some comedy event a while back, kept her number, but because I already had a few on the go, I didn't message her. I bumped into her again and decided to add her to the roster. All good. Body, sex, head, everything we have an understanding she comes to mind we do our thing and she leaves cool one weekend we both happened to be at chucky's r&b night i must go there one day and she ended up back at mine (laughs) (laughs) we have been exactly i'd like to go again okay Uh, okay. um and she ended up back at mine because it was early hours when we got in i let her stay over in the morning in the morning, she was gone. When I got up to shower, etc., first I noticed my washcloth was wet. Then, when I went to brush my teeth, I noticed that my toothbrush was wet too. That is gross. I called her straight away to ask if she used my things. She said, yeah, like it was nothing. Oh I was disgusted. I personally don't see why she couldn't have waited till she got home, or if she was that funky, go and buy a toothbrush and use a McDonald's toilet or something. That's what? feisty. As <laughs> anyway, I ended the call. Since then, she's been messaging me, calling me, asking me what's up, but I'm ignoring her. I'm about to block her. Am I wrong? You're wrong yeah. on loads of different <laughs> levels. Yeah, yeah, not the reasons you think. But the toothbrush thing is actually really disgusting. Mm. Like the, but then to be like she should have bought a toothbrush and used a McDonald's is crazy. You're, you're, what yeah. type of a man is this? <laughs> what is she's a sneaky link? He don't well, care yeah, about her. He's wrong about loads of things, but not... <laughs> The toothbrush no. using or flannel using, yeah, that I yeah. find that disgusting. That's, why yeah. would you? Do why would that? you do yeah. that? Like, I think, I, no. it's on purpose, isn't it? Yeah, what, she was doing. She's it doing marking the marking her territory. territory. Yeah. Oh. Or maybe she's not of the culture. Oh, oh. nail on head. <laughs> I want to say some of it. But Go on, do it. <laughs> allegedly, say, do you want to say allegedly? I, I would just say mm. that people in our culture use washcloths. So I think she might be in our culture. Oh, I don't think yeah. so. You think yeah, she didn't just see it and thought, no, because there's a towel. People outside. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my bum with that culture. as a towel. She might have thought it was a towel though. You know there's that, innit? And she <laughs> might have just washed her <laughs> but face. Was, but you know there's yeah. that, that certain people think that's a towel. She, you, you can't use somebody else's stuff like, stuff. like that. I'm, you can't. No, I, you can't. I, I, I am so icked out by people even brushing their teeth in you front can't. of me. The no. idea that someone's used my toothbrush, I want to fight you. Dash it away. I'll, it's going straight in the bin. Like, I don't like it. And my flannel, where, like, which part of your body? It's that comfortability you as well. Honestly, it's, it's giving feral, you know? Yes. Yeah, it's giving raw. You've got, like, you don't, do you, do you is have she a home? Is <laughs> she, well, this is why you say, like, right? you feel that way inclined. Go to McDonald's but he, toilet, but, but he's rude. He's rude. Yeah. He's, he's rude. rude. Exceptional. You know what I mean? He's, <laughs> like, he's, he's rude. disrespectful. But also, it's like, it, is like, she. It's, it's his own fault. Because if you're picking up any girl, they come into your house. That's no, your but, own fault. But to be fair, he's like, we've been on a run of things and she, it's kind of like he's saying, she knows the thing. you got to apply this time. You've got to stay over. So maybe she went to Lulu and was like, oh my God, this is it. We're going to be together. You know how women can run with the story? Because yeah. got, she got to stay over. Why would but, you use his toothbrush? Because she doesn't make that, any sense. Why would you she use might, his flannel? Why you would she like, use any of it? You're leaving for, like, what? <laughs> no, nah, she doesn't have a home. Maybe. She's got limit, limited access to water. Yeah. So she was she was like, I'm going to yeah. have shower. Bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, she probably does that every night. I finds so. a new man. No. Goes to the yard. I think she's no. just literally scatting for like, ooh. Who does that? That's, that's what gets that trampy, excited. It's trampy, it's trampy. And who uses someone's toothbrush? No, I, I can't put it past a desperate chick. 
Because no, to me, it sounds nah, like a desperate, desperate, desperate chick behaviour. You're not behavior. Even doing that with your husband. No, 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 that's, no but, but that's what I'm trying to no. say. So what makes you think that? That's because right. she's the Lulu. No, There's gross. crazy okay, girls out maybe there. Maybe she's either chemically imbalanced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts. Or desperate. Yes. Yeah. Deeply. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if she was up to something because like maybe she wanted him to brush his teeth, use the flannel for some type of reason. <gasps> like Judge. a ritual. Hmm. Oh. Don't eat from her. That's what I'm saying. She might give you sweat rice. Oh, he absolutely yeah. should block her, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Keep block her, it. but also do fix, block her. Fix your morals. Do but you're better. a dickhead. Yeah, do, do better. better. It's better it's pics. Yeah, and stop. yeah. You don't need to have yeah. the sneaky link life. Lara. You're a dickhead, but block her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're your own safety. You're a bit of a scumbag, but block her. But be careful. <laughs> and if you don't. She might cut key. She over thought then. That's the thing. She, she might. Have, you actually well, she don't know what she's lived. done in the house. Mm. She might have done all sorts and be back. That's hundred percent fair. That's she true. Did stuff. That's all. That's single. all he found was a wet. She did flannel toothbrush. and toothbrush. She, he doesn't know. She could have been white in her <gasps> JJ all over his. Ew. Room. Okay, guys, <laughs> and that's that on that. <laughs> um, is there anything that anybody has to spotlight before we end the show? Yes. I would like to spotlight Auntie Shardy! Shardy! <laughs> it's your birthday, girl. Birthday, girl. Go I'd on. like to spotlight you because it's your birthday and Thank you're wonderful you. and got to create a great person on this day. But I also want to spotlight you for our time that we spent alone together without these two holiday having oh. bitches um, and for holding it down and doing all the editing and letting me just show oh. up and show out. <laughs> well so, yeah. done Shut Spotlight up. on you my G <laughs> Thank you man That's Happy birthday Happy birthday Sugar Pie Thank yes. you Thank you Big ups Big ups Big ups Because she did all the work She did And she did. we should all be very thankful Because you did it all And thank you so much It's like I didn't even Have to do anything We didn't worry We were just making a good holiday Yeah <laughs> Yeah whatever <laughs> Enough now We wanted you to sit on the floor this week Just letting you know <laughs> It was a discussion, I like. I think it would be fair. That's what you were. I wasn't, I wasn't even there just for a holiday, lie. though. But you could no. have. You, like you could be sitting on the floor. Yeah. In but. fact, Nana, you, you get a blight. Yeah, I get a blight. You, you get a blight. Blight. She's been away, been away for, for like 10 years. Yeah. I actually wow. forgot what she looked like today. We ain't the same. <laughs> no, no. Like, you actually, you can sit on a couch. Thank you. You should sit on the floor. <laughs> I wasn't advocating for that. You <laughs> wasn't. You wasn't not advocating. I know. I said no. I said no. You did. You did. You did I, I, no. feel, I feel attacked for my yeah. break. Yeah, I needed respite. Thank it's you. Right, no, anyway, because when welcome. I'm in Grenada, watch this yeah. space. Yeah, and I yes. will not be hating on you. Yeah, you I'll be enjoying <laughs> it. You. Yeah. you are going away soon Can't as well. Wait. And also, thank you everyone that supported us during that time as well. Honestly, yeah. well done, because guys. Because people did show up. They, they really did. did, and they kept on encouraging us. And yeah, it was great to get that level of support oh, for us. Nice. Kind big up the fam, big up the fam. Yeah. Um, I would like to spotlight uh, a show on Disney Plus called Black Cake. It's really, really good. It's set partly in Jamaica, in London and in America. And um, it stars Bashy. So just to support Bash, Bashy's a good looking dude. He could yeah. make it onto the I list. I can't like him. He knows he's family friend. Uh, oh, okay. No, but he is. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's handsome. handsome. And he's, and he's very guy. good in it as well. He's a good actor. Does he do a Jamaican accent? No, okay. he's American. He, he has his American accent. Oh, okay. Yeah. And his American accent is American okay. American accent's okay. It's okay. Mm. There's better, but it's okay. It's a good one. Definitely watch it. Disney, Disney Plus, Black Cake. Okay. Go for it. Um, I'm just re-watching The X-Files and loving it. It's also on Disney Plus. I don't know why. One day I felt like, I want to watch The X-Files. Molly and Skulder exploring what's out there. The truth is out there. Oh, my God. For those who like a bit of alien conspiracy and stuff like that. <laughs> That. It, yeah, it's on Disney. I it's on Disney, know. and I was like, I want to watch this. I'm actually enjoying, it. and I think I love watching series that you watch when you were younger to see my adult perspective on yeah. it. Mm. And I feel a lot more like, yeah, man, mm. the truth is out there. You're gonna watch it then? Ain't gonna watch it now. That's Seriously. fine, but it, it's it's oh good for God. those of you who are like a bit of alien conspiracy I stuff oh. and um, sci-fi. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a good series. It still stands up today. Guys, I'm going to spotlight Room 187. Yeah, Rap. Yeah, yeah, Rap. Yeah. We're going to be there on Saturday, Ooh. the 13th of April, 
tell you the day. Make sure you get your tickets. There's going to be a link in the bio on our YouTube. Yep. And we have a code as well. I think it's Roomy Roomy five or something. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We can get like 38% uh, off. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to be cool. There's a game and we're going to be one of the teams <laughs> competing. Guys, we need you there because... We need you there. It might yeah. need you. <laughs> and we might like, get a bit rowdy. Might for yeah. us. Yeah. 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 By the way, we but are the winners already. We're just letting you know we've won. Yeah, we've and won. if we didn't, like Biggie said, <laughs> even if I was wrong, I was right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but we need the hype. Yeah, we need we the need hype. We need Come an down. audience there and we Come need on. people chanting, you're all taste good now. Oh, taste good now. Oh, taste good now. Why is it good? Well, who's going to eat? I don't understand. Like, <laughs> you can just say, <laughs> uh, go aunties, go aunties. No, you know, like, no. Why? Hey, see. Yeah. And- we don't, we don't, we're not inviting thugs. I'm confused. <laughs> but anyway. We need the but, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. but yes, room 187 this Saturday, the 13th of April. Hopefully we'll see you there. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And that is our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, boop the like button. Please. And don't forget to sign up for our new YouTube membership. It's only one ninety nine. And also, it's so easy. There's a little blue thing when you go onto YouTube. And all you've got to do is, it says join. you just got to click it and you join. One ninety nine. You can't even buy a meal for that. That's all. <laughs> Great. Exactly. Put out there. <laughs> but not hard of us. All right, guys. Thank you. That's been your aunties. Could never. Bye. Bye now. See ya. Bye.